much of Tuesday, the family of Crystal Rogers stood watching, waiting for answers. Nearby, 300 acres of farmland belonging to the family of Brooks Houck, the only suspect in her disappearance, was being searched. It was the third time investigators returned to the property, where Rogers was last seen July 3, 2015, and where investigators believe she was killed. Sherry Ballard, Rogers' mother, admittedly felt uneasy. It's just real hard for me to imagine that, but I mean, I felt that the whole time, whether they find something on the farm or they don't, I still feel like that's where it happened. It's why Rogers' father, Tommy Ballard, has begged investigators to go back. And on Tuesday, his intuition proved right. Sources close to the investigation tell WLKY several pieces of farm equipment were seized. He didn't say what they took. He just said they took several things. He told me it was a good day. In fact, investigators who searched the property with help from canine units and dive teams said this as their 14-hour day came to a close. I'm not frustrated. I'm hopeful. I think we're moving in the right direction. Um, you know, it's been a long road, and it may be even longer, but I think we're getting close. It's why Roger's family believes Brooks Houck, who was spotted with he and Crystal's young son feeding cattle in the midst of the search, should be getting nervous. I've always said he done it. You know, from day one, and like you said, he acts like he's not worried. He better be worried. It's coming. Crews whose efforts were slowed today by extreme heat will return early tomorrow morning to continue that search. Now, Rick Vicky, it is important to note this is the third warrant served in recent weeks in relation to the Crystal Rogers case. Warrants have also been served at the homes of Brooks Houck's brother and grandmother. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.